All right, so for the past couple of days, I've been working on using, combining an Arduino with a remote controlled drifting car to make an autonomous drifting vehicle. Now, this is after three days worth of work, and I'm pretty proud of myself about this. So, let me give you the rundown. Okay, here is the uh, standard HPI E10 chassis with standard electronics and everything, standard servo, standard motor, standard speed controller. The only thing that's non-standard is the battery and the, conf and the current configuration. We move opposite of the shadow here. So, regular drifting tires, uh, battery, Arduino over here, a breadboard to create the physical interlink between the um, speed controller, which is this one here, I'm sorry, speed controller, which is this one here, and the servo over here. Uh, the radio is actually still in place, so it's not connected to anything. We have the battery up front here to power the Arduino, and everything is just sort of duct taped down. Okay, so, um, for the programming, this is version 3. Version 1 and 2 were optimization. Version 3 is the, uh, the full-on, here we go. I just managed to get uh, control of the throttle today, uh, finding out the variant, finding out the uh, various limits between uh, full throttle and negative full throttle, which is reverse. Uh, the scale goes between 30 and 170, 30 being full reverse, 90 being neutral, 170 being uh, full throttle. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. It's going to go through its little, first thing I have to do is turn off the air speed controller. Plug in the Arduino, turn on the speed controller. It's going to go through its initialization. Test the steering up front. Enter and go. Oh, whoo, just barely missed it. Not bad for a first go. I think I've done pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Okay.